Hello and welcome to Eye on New Pulse. I'm Jessica Clary. And I'm Ann Jacobs. Here are today's top stories. In international news, a senior Hamas leader says the group is willing to talk directly to Israel, reversing a previous ban. In an interview with Al Quds TV that will broadcast later on Thursday, Hamas leader number two, Musa Abu Marzouk, says, quote, Hamas is willing to talk directly to the Israelis over issues including the Gaza border crossings and prisoner releases. On Thursday, Americans marked the 13th anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks. President Barack Obama and the First Lady attended an observance ceremony at the Pentagon. In New York, family members of those killed at the World Trade Center will read the names of the victims at a ceremony at Ground Zero. In Washington, President Barack Obama has authorized U.S. airstrikes inside Syria for the first time, along with expanded strikes in Iraq in an effort to destroy militants from the Islamic State groups. In local news, beloved stray cat Mr. Chang has made a friend in New Paltz. After students noticed the cat had serious leg wounds, they decided to start an Indiegogo campaign to raise money for his veterinary bills. We spoke to Tom Pulaski, an aspiring veterinarian and member of the New Paltz community, about the cat. Let's see what he has to say. Myself, along with three or four other uh, New Paltz students, started an Indiegogo to help Mr. Chang. He's our local community stray cat, and after realizing he sustained several injuries. One of us had the money really to put into him getting veterinary care. So we started the fund. We've raised a little over $400. And so far that's taken care of him. We've been sharing him between the apartments to make sure he has a good home to heal himself back to, to normal health. And then we're going to release him back out to the community. No more waiting on long lines for food, Tap and Go has been introduced on the SUNY New Paltz campus for the fall semester. The app allows students to order their food ahead of time, directly from their ID cards, from either the Student Union or Oscars. Let's see what the students have to say. Hello, I'm Josina Campbell, and I'm here at Oscars, the popular late night food spot on campus. This semester at SUNY New Paltz, Tap and Go was introduced to not only make waiting time for food less, but also easier for students to order food. Let's see what the students have to say. Do you feel like the app is convenient when you want to get food? Oh, it's totally awesome. You can order from anywhere you want, and uh, the people who work there just pick it up and they make your food, and it's pretty much done by the time you get there. It's really convenient because I like to get Oscars, and it's nice to order before you come in. It's extremely convenient. I live right next to Hasbrook and very close to the sub. I go to class out in the opposite side of campus, so I always will order right after class and then by the time I get to the student union I get my food. Didn't really trust it at first uh, and then I gave it a go and I've been using it for almost every single meal since. Do you feel like the waiting time is just the same or do you feel like the app is doing what it's supposed to? Well, you order it and then you wait a little while and then you go pick it up but it's better than waiting online. It's significantly less especially during those uh, hours where everyone is between classes. And have you heard any complaints about the app? No, everyone loves it. SUNY New Paltz's very own theater arts assistant, Connie Rotunda, started in a new theatrical collaboration titled Daughter of the Waves. She performed alongside Andy Mendez of the TV series Orange is the New Black and Sofia Para of the TV series House of Cards. Daughter of the Waves is about a family circus owner and World War II refugee in 1941 Ireland. The show ran this past Saturday, September 6th. That's all for this week. I'm Jessica Clary. And I'm Ann Jacobs. Thank you for tuning in.